Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Tiki Zone. In this video we are going to discuss about acid rain. First of all we have to know that what is this acid rain means. Acid rain simply means the presence of excessive amount of acids in the rainwater. Then we are going to discuss what are the causes or fact behind the acid rain or how acid rain occurs. In general all the rainfall is slightly acidic in nature because water reacts with atmospheric carbon dioxide to produce carbonic acid. Thus pure rain has a pH of around 5.6. The pH of acid rain is below than 5.6 because acid rain is more acidic than normal water. Acid rain is one of the effect of air pollution that means air pollutants are the major cause of acid rain. See, Due to air pollution like burning of coal, fuel wood or petroleum products etc. A large quantity of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide reach the atmosphere. These oxides react with water vapor of the atmosphere to produce sulfuric acid and nitric acid etc. Which then return to earth's surface with rainwater, and this is the main reason for acid rain. Then let us discuss what are the effects of acid rain. When acid rain falls into soil, it increases the acid amount on soil and cause acidification of soil, which alter nutrient supply, rate of decomposition of organic matters, nitrogen fixation, soil faunal population, etc. Fauna refers to the total amount of microbes or organisms or animals present in the soil. Acid rain also damages crops and forest by changing the soil chemistry as the soil becomes more acidic in nature due to acid rain. In plants, acid rain damage leaf surface, affect photosynthesis and plant growth. Transpiration in plant also increases due to acid rain which cause wilting in plants. Acid rain makes river, pond, water etc. unfit for drink. Acid rain in sea, river etc affect the growth and reproduction of fishes and other aquatic animals. In water, the gills of fishes become clogged by irritation which induce mucus discharge causing severe respiratory stress and even death of the fishes. Acid rain also affect the external paints of houses. Acid rain also affect the monuments like Taj Mahal, statue at Hurton Castle etc. Then let us discuss what are the controlling methods of acid rain. Acid rain only controlled by controlling the air pollution because air pollutants are the major source of acid rain. We must stop or minimize the use of fossil fuels in kitchen and vehicles etc. In kitchen, fuel wood must be replaced by LPG. In vehicles, we should use electric and CNG running vehicles and cycle to cut down the use of petrol and diesel. Then we must plant trees to create artificial forest and vegetation etc. in barren areas. So these are some controlling methods of acid rain. So in this video till now we discussed what is the cause, effects and controlling measures of acid rain. So thank you everyone and thanks for watching this video.